Hi, Shauna Karish here with an Ask Shauna Answer. Uh, this question, it comes from Lucy, and she says, I purchased your video collection, Despooking Your Horse, so maybe I can go back and view it again to help solve the following problem. I made an error in loading my horse in a new trailer. Actually, I have had two error incidents in trying to load her in this new European-style trainer trailer. Um, one, she freaked out when I closed down the plastic curtain in the back of the trailer a year ago. And a month ago, after working with her for weeks to calmly load her, I attached the trailer tie before putting the butt bar and she lurched back in panic. She broke her halter and the trailer tie. That's how much force was behind her fear. Um, she had been a seasoned tra um, show horse, trailer lots. Now she is petrified to load and hates pressure at her pole. Do you have any hints to help her get brave again? I'm a middle-aged woman with novice um, horsemanship skills. To date, I have only started Julia on the, in the on-target clicker training. Um, if I, and if I can ask one more question, is it okay to combine your training methods with Alexandra Curlin's training methods um, as there's a clinic coming up nearby? Um, and okay, so first of all, the, the positive reinforcement training, so the trainers, us trainers have slightly different techniques, but I mean, little quirks that we do, but basically it's the same learning theory and principle. So, so it can be combined. I think that the more education you have, the better you will be to see some of the things that maybe you, you choose to take out of one and not the other or, or vice versa. So, um, so yes, for certainly, you're just going to learn GOP. So for sure, I would, I would suggest going because it's a great place to get some information. Now, back to your original question about the trailer loading. And one of the things that I really, really suggest doing, and this is kind of different than some people, is I consider um, the Liberty Work meaning no halts or no lead rope to be the beginning work, halter and lead rope to be advanced work. Now that's kind of not how a lot of people do things, but I want to make sure that the training that is going on is being trained through the use of positive reinforcement. And when there's no halter and lead rope on there, it's very clear that they're not feeling some pressure from the halter and lead rope. Because they've been conditioned to it, there's still a psychological pressure even if we don't pull on it. And with your gal having the pressure, uh, or the fear with uh, the pressure, I would definitely have no halter and lead rope if, if any way you could do that. So I don't know if you did it that way with training her, but I would, if you can pull the trailer into a paddock or an arena or someplace where you can have her loose, I really suggest you do it that way and get her so she is making 100% of the decision to come and go through there. Um, and, and that she kind of panicked so much, it, it makes me think that while she was doing it, she wasn't really 100% comfortable with it because she still had enough where she could just lose her noodle over it. So what I would do is I would just, again, spend some more time, have it do it without the halter and lead rope if possible. If that's not possible, I would have the halter and lead rope, but I would not, I would not put any pressure on it. It would only be, and I'd have a long lead rope. So it's only so she can't go wandering way far away, but there's no pressure. She can go in, she can go out, she can go in, she can go out and make up her mind that it is safe because you kind of have a little, some of the elements to get over there. So that's what I do. And I would use the target like you did with the despooking your horse. I would use a target that is a great tool. So I'd make that really a strong thing. So as she's looking at the trailer and thinking, I hate the trailer, but I love the target. She's thinking, I got to choose what am I going to do if the target's strong enough, she's going to make a choice to go the target even when it's close to the trailer. And remember, make itty bitty small steps. So just let her process, go really slow, and you're going to be building a new positive reinforcement history with the trailer because she's lost some ground now. For some reason, she lost ground before. It got a little better. She lost some ground again. So we need to kind of, so she has some negative history there, unpleasant history there. So we want to make it so it's all a good association. She sees the trailer and says, I love the trailer. Now, there's other parts to trailer loading that can be an issue. I mean, um, trailering and, and driving should be really slow. There's a, a lot of other things, but we're just talking at this point about getting her on the trailer. So I think when you can get her on there, and then I would work on, so get it, so she's loading, solid, good loading. She just will load up, and I would use a stationary target. You may have seen that in uh, some of the things I do. It's, I use a stationary target, and I teach it in their stall or their paddock first, and so I teach them to go hold on that target, and then I'll put a stationary target in the front of the trailer, and that way it is 
they see it, they know what to do with it, they recognize it, and you can point them and say target and get them to go up past you onto the trailer. But anyway, I would start with a, the little tiny steps, building a very, and have very short sessions. So go back to really short sessions, a lot of reinforcement, and having it be really simple. And at first, you're not even gonna look for it to get in the trailer. First, you're gonna say a foot on the trailer. That's all I wanted. Even though maybe she'll go further, she just puts a foot on the ramp. And you say, that's perfect. Here's your food, let's go, we're done. And so it's really slow and easy and there's lots of success and minimal stress. Because I believe me, she has stress associated with, with the trailering at this point in time. So I think that that'd be a great way to go. Then use the stationary target, get it shows she's going up past her. Next thing you would do when she's going up and loading, I would get a friend to help you being at the back. Um, I imagine at first to see somebody back behind her when she's in the trailer is going to create suspicion and she may back out. So I would just be up in the front. Don't have the person even do something. Just walk back and forth at first. And when she makes it, and she's probably going to look and look and she may back out and let her back out. That's no big deal. But when she makes a decision to come back in and have the person just do the same thing, just may walk back and forth like a duck in a shooting gallery or whatever, you know, just wait, wait. And as soon as she makes a decision to come back in, you want to click and reinforce her for that decision. And remember, it's what's in her head that's really the most important. And everything needs to be done with a good attitude. When it's in her head and she's making the choice, she'll develop the good attitude. So then when she's good and the person can be walking back and forth and no big deal, I'd then have them like step on the ramp a little bit and make some noise on the ramp so she can hear it. Again, suspicion may rise and she may come back out. No big deal, let her just come back out when she makes her decision to go back in. Next, start moving the butt bar. When that all goes good and she's, again, she may back out and then back in. And, but pretty soon she's going to let it where she lets it hook up. As soon as it's hooked up, you reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. You unhook it, and ask her to stay and hold on the target and then reinforce her. If you take these little small steps, I had my horse Bugs who he had a big trailer problem and I didn't know it. I kind of overlooked it because he had other things I was dealing with. And it took about 40 minutes but it was over eight sessions. So the very sh more short, small sessions and he was loading by himself and he would rear and he had suspicion. He was the same, you know, kind of mess about it. So anyway, so that's a great place for you to get started. I think on my, um, on my blog, if you go to the blog and search on the search bar and put trailer loading, there might be some um, written material I have there about trailer loading as well. Anyway, and I have a video coming out pretty soon about trailer loading. So keep your eye out for that. But anyway, so I hope this helped you out, Lucy. I know that you can get her loading like a champ. It's just figuring out what those steps are. And I think this will give you a great start before you know it. She'll be loading up all by herself. Anyway, if you have any questions as you progress, keep me posted and, and let me know and I'll help you out as you go. So hope this helps you out, Lucy, or anybody else who has some trailer issues. And if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to go to askshauna.com or shaunacarish.com. Anyway, until next time, enjoy getting your horse on target.